I fell in love with this design the moment that I saw it. And if you've bought a paint by numbers kit yourself ever, you would come to realize that it actually comes folded like the canvas by default and you have to request for it to be rolled so that ugly creases wouldn't be there. I forgot to do that. I do not know why this is the second canvas that I've bought. I'll show you the first one that I've ever bought but anyway because I forgot to do that I am faced with the challenge of removing the creases before I even start painting. So of course I brought this to their attention and this is what they said. You may iron the canvas from the back using low heat. We cannot roll the canvas as the shipping fee will not be free and almost the same as the price of the item if it is rolled. Well, if you're like me, I do not actually mind paying a couple of um, cents more if it means not having the extra work. Catch my drift? But anyway, let's do this. I did say that I already bought a canvas before or a paint by numbers kit before and I'll show you if done right, this is how it's supposed to look like. Rolled, no creases and all, and it would be packaged like this when it arrived. Now this is already done, so there's like a pool noodle right here inside, which came from them, so you don't <laughs> have to. Anyway, this is what it looks like, just to give you an idea. The tape is still as strong. Let me peel it from the other side. Okay. And I don't think you'll be able to breathe once you see what's inside. So let me just do that for you. Are you guessing who it is? Are you guessing who it is? Yes, if you said that this is the Mona Lisa, you are correct. Let me shine some light onto that. I'm sorry, she's just too big, around 20 inches. I cannot feature her, but the face is really what matters here. I did my best, but so much for that. This is as stress-free as it gets if you did it right, meaning you requested it to be rolled. So feast your eyes on this masterpiece. Here is the package of the original Mona Lisa. Just thought you might be interested to see it. Well, because I know I would after seeing it. So I bought this over a year ago. It's from cncpaint.ph. If you would recall, the current one that I will be working with is Art Alley PH. So this is their website if you're interested. So you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, that's facebook.com slash cnc. Paint PH, Instagram.com slash CNC Paint PH if you're interested. There you go. This is not sponsored, I just love their products very much. And now, if you do forget to tell your seller to roll the canvas and pay an extra amount for it, this is what it would look like. Starting from the details, very important ones, this is 849 pesos, which is around $17.13 US. I ordered this last July 4th of 2020. I paid it on the same day that it arrived because the cash on delivery option was available, which was on July 16th, which would mean that it took 12 calendar days for this item to arrive because of the um, pandemic and all but there now I'll use my scissors to carefully cut this up okay doing that for you and here it is so this is the package it comes in a plastic I'll remove this sticky substance. There is the paint set. It comes in how many? Seven. Oh no, it's 22. So it has 22 different colors. For this one, of course, it would vary depending on the design that you picked. It comes with um, three differently sized brushes. 
and it has these things if you want to hang it on the wall which I do once I buy my dream house of course so that's the paint set different colors and all there go and now let's see the rest of it first a message how it works preparation paint and mesh and marriage of course i know this since i've already done this before here's a picture of the design it is a cabin by the lake that's your guide okay beautiful i hope it ends well if it comes as close to this then i would be the happiest and finally what i've been dreading about oh it has more information here okay more information okay there you go so this is the canvas folded it has creases so it has this much creases this right here i have to somehow miraculously remove it because it's been folded for a while now okay so this is the reverse side i should be ironing this side as per art alley and when i flip it this is what it looks like so it's self-explanatory let me just turn it around it's self-explanatory why you would call it paint by numbers because it would have uh, look at this let me just make it give it uh, a bit in focus so it would have guides and numbers so you just have to follow the guide and if you would remember this paint set right here it would have numbers right so you just have to follow it so let's say for example this is number six and this is a number six so you just have to paint this color onto that specific surface so that's basically it it's self-explanatory and of course this is a project that requires a substantial amount of time and i guess i should start if i want to finish but first on to removing those ugly creases now i haven't touched my flat iron in a while because i didn't really need to iron my clothes for work in a while and if it wasn't for this video i wouldn't be doing so and let me just say how convenient this is because of this um ring light that i bought so it's clampable so i just clamped it on this end of the um iron board and here it is before i plug it in so it says according to the email i should select the low setting this is an old one so bear with me it means that it seems that the minimum setting is acetate and the settings as far as it goes is acetate silk rayon wool cotton and linen i know that this is a linen canvas but i'll just select acetate i am not taking any chance uh, chances in burning this canvas okay so i'll go ahead and plug it in please bear with me so my um flat iron <laughs> i'm getting nervous my flat iron is actually plug in as of the moment it's now on acetate mode but before i start i have this um spray bottle here and it's this is just a water plain old water and i am actually um beside my air conditioning unit just to make extra sure that i don't burn my canvas because of the heat setting so i'll start by spraying my iron board what that does is it attracts heat when i um press the hot iron into it so look at this hear that sound so the slow the slower it is the flatter it gets i hope this is what would happen to the canvas look at that it has some creases for example this one i just do a little press in here and that should remove the crease like so if this is if i mean if the canvas is anything like this material this should be easy and this should work all right now for the moment we've all been waiting for all right here it is i'll start with this um side first i'm lucky it was folded this way 
others I've seen it's folded horribly many times so here goes nothing I'll spray a couple just in the creases minimal heat exposure as possible and I have to be quick so god I'm in such an uncomfortable position very quick oh my god it's actually working the creases disappeared it's actually working okay that's enough okay so this is still the same side I'm just filming it at a different angle and it still has some crease marks so I'm gonna do another spray at the crease and do another run so here it goes very firm but quick okay. look at that steamy sound I try not to apply pressure or else it would have those iron marks which could make it even works why did I not insist for this thing to be rolled when I purchased it so I wouldn't have to do all this extra work I mean I don't think the creases can be eliminated 100% but they can be made I guess a bit less prominent using this okay I guess I should iron some of the parts just so I wouldn't have the iron marks okay has a sauna like sound so I've heard that if you spray too much water it would actually get wave marks like paper that's been soaked and then it dried up and we would not want that so I'm doing as minimal sprays and exposing the canvas to as little heat as possible just like ironing a very delicate um, piece of clothing it is clothing technically it's linen okay I like that steamy sound and please just like what they said use as slow of a setting as you possibly can I guess this is as good as it goes it's not noticeable anymore I this is as far as I'll go now for the other side which you don't really need to see but I will show um, the after what it looks like so stay tuned so here it is after ironing guys as you can see this side it's almost and gone I mean you can feel it but you wouldn't see it as for this side this I suspect is the part wherein they folded it so tightly that no amount of ironing could remove it so this is as far as I'll go I just hope this doesn't compromise the final result so in case you haven't understood it enough insist for the seller to roll your canvas people insist for them to do that even if you have to pay for it I'll release a separate video when I'm going to paint the cabin by the lake. I know this is supposed to be that video, but we've had things happen to us. But I sure hope that it was not in vain, though. I hope that you learned something, at least. So stay tuned and stay well.